A Wintry Tale by Iris Dingle and Martin Flatters. At the coldest part of winter, when the snow is falling and the ice is forming, Isabel, the fairy princess, longs for the sun, of a sun that seems far away. Come back, come back, come back. The winter snow lay deep and the polar bears were fast asleep. Suddenly the polar bears woke. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? In the frozen south, the baby penguin sits on his mother's feet, keeping him snug and warm. She tells her chick that they will soon be coming. Who's coming? asks the little chick. Shh, the mother says, we have to wait. We have to wait. We have to wait. The lonely reindeer walks through the frozen forest, mile after mile without any rest. With no house or home, his winter coat keeps him warm from winter's harshest storm. What is he looking for, looking for, looking for? Whoosh! The owl flies silently through the forest. Hoot hoot! She has a message for all the animals. Not long now, dear, she hoots to delighted ears. Not long, not long, not long. On the coast there is a mighty storm. The waves high and cold, the wind so strong the puffin has to walk, not fly. The puffin sits and mutters, come soon, come soon, come soon. In the garden a little blue tit sits on the snow-covered branch. The owl told the little bird he must be ready. It's coming soon. What, what, what? says the little bird. The snow silently falls. The dog comes out of the warm house and into the garden. He sniffs. There is something in the air. There is a different feel. It feels like a change is coming. A change is coming. A change is coming. The snow continues to fall. In the garden the fluffy cat swishes her tail. Meow. Meow. She thinks she sees something in the distance. What can it be? She excitedly asks. She sits and waits for it to come closer. Come closer. Come closer. The little red squirrel sits on the snow. His nose is twitching. My nuts are cold and winter's getting rather old, he says. Come soon. Come soon. Come soon. The fox and the hare meet in the snow-covered fields. He asks the hare, What have you heard? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <coughs> Brock the badger is awoken from his warm winter set. Who has woken me? Something's coming. Something's coming. Something's coming. Flying through the cold winter's air, everything is frozen everywhere. Even the lakes are frozen too, so the swans fly on, for they know that it was soon to be coming. We must fly on, fly on, fly on. Shivers in the snow. Bah, bah, it's cold. It's cold. Bah, bah. It is coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Eow, eow. The dog.
donkey who guards the farm and watches. Ee-oh, 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 he calls. I can see it coming. It will soon be here. Soon be here. We must be ready. Ee-oh, ee-oh, ee-oh. On a starry midwinter night, the animals meet up and walk into the forest, looking, searching. In the middle of the forest, they are drawn to a bright, shiny, sparkling tree, covered in stars and mirrors. They all gather around the tree. The wise owl tells them of a time before, when people used to welcome the return of the sun after the long winter months, by tying mirrors and gifts to the tree. Men may have forgotten, but the animals still remember. <coughs> on midwinter's day, as the sun rises on the farm, the dogs await the coming of the winter visitor, who brings gifts, health and good fortune, to the family, one and all. Featuring the donkey, Mr. Schister, the goats, Esther, Luna, Piewacket, Giselle and Jacqueline. The dogs, Bruin, Sky, Gaia and Star. This has been a Kitchen Table production.